Well, guess what? I have just been browsing Twitter, and that Star Wars girl has flagged... It looks like there's some cancellations going on, guys. Attempts to get rid of some people. People who I'm not fans of. I don't hate them. I'm just not fans of them. I don't really pay attention to them anymore, to be honest with you. Uh, but Ryan Cannell, Geeks and Gamers, and Gary Burglar, uh, otherwise known as Nerdrotics, it looks like they um, there's a bunch of uh, people who want to get rid of them, get them off the YouTube platform because of stuff they're doing. Now, I don't know whether... I don't think... I don't, I don't like this um, mass activism to try and remove people. Uh, but then again, I don't like people breaking the rules that they agree to. Don't agree to rules if you're going to break them. I'm not saying either of these guys or these guys have. I don't really know what they've been saying. But let's take a deep dive and have a look, shall we? So here we are. I'll go onto this side, I think. Here we are. Uh, Star Wars Girl says, Oh, look, the Disney shows decided they would write up a manifesto in attempts to demonetize some platform. So this guy here's written to Team YouTube. This Molly person here is written to YouTube. This Jared dude's written to YouTube. Uh, oh, it's the rewriting Ripley pod people. They've had an issue with them lot for a long time hate should not be a career path well i'm pretty sure they hate gary nerdrotic pretty sure let's read what this manifesto says shall we uh what if i can zoom in on it open a new tab there you go right well, let's put my my ugly head down here dear team youtube Last week, actor Aman Amandla Stenberg, she they, Jesus, posted candid comments to Instagram about the rampage of bigotry and vitriol. There is a thing of, um, they're calling it fan tox toxic fandom going on with Adele and other performers. So it's happening here. It would seem that's what the claim is on this manifesto. I like that drawing of the, the spaceship, X-Wing. Uh, she has received since leading the cast of the Acolyte. Big vitriol. Uh, the latest addition to the Star Wars universe, Steinberg experience is not new. In fact, this known tactic was initially provoked by former Breitbart news editor Milo Yiannopoulos, who aggressively targeted Ghostbusters actor Leslie Jones under the guise of film criticism. After prolonged insults against her Ghostbusters character as uh, resulted in harassment against Jones on Twitter, Yiannopoulos claimed Jones was playing the victim when she called for action against the harassment. The aggressive gaslighting of Jones' experience resulted in Yiannopoulos being banned from Twitter. I mean, you should really present some evidence for all that. I think I remember this. Um, Yiannopoulos guy is an, is, is an idiot. I mean, he's not stupid, but uh, he's actually quite an eloquent, speak eloquent speaker. But he's a little snake. And uh, although you could probably get on with him on one level, I don't think he's generally a nice guy if you're not his friend. Eight years later, Yiannopoulos' playbook mar against marginalized actors was burgeoning into a multi-million dollar business on YouTube, which has been permitted to develop unchecked with the help of YouTube's partner program. This playbook's biggest target is Star Wars. Well, we should say new Star Wars, really. Because um, there is, it's new Star Wars and it's next gen, next generation Star Wars. As fans of the Star Wars franchise, we have tirelessly witnessed a handful of YouTube creators continuously driving prolonged insults and harassment against marginalized actors. I keep hearing these these buzzwords and they're almost annoying. That's my annoying bell. Actors and members of our community, enough is enough. The Star Wars fandom demands that YouTube enforce. Who, who are these people to demand anything? It's like YouTube's not yours. 
Uh, we demand that YouTube enforce its community guidance against prolonged insults. Prolonged insults. Yeah, I mean... I don't, yeah, well, you know, free speech. You're allowed to insult people. Uh, but you can pretty much... You know, you can, you can pretty much really destroy people by just bar barraging them. Barraging them. Is that the word? Uh, incitement, targeted harassment towards women of colour. Uh, well, I mean, you've got to produce some sort of evidence that they're doing it because they're women of colour. Or is it just a matter, it's just relevant that they are? You've got to demonetize the YouTube channels, Geeks and Gamers, Ryan Canal, Archie Outpost, and Nerdrotic. The thing is, YouTube is a uh, a website that utilizes the Google Ads model. Uh, it needs to put adverts on your stuff that you produce, and it does a deal with you. That you will not break the rules. You will be honest about saying the type of content you're uploading is something they can put adverts against. Um, and you have to be honest about that. If you, and the thing is that it, sometimes it's not anything to do with one particular video. Um, I've always been critical of somebody like Carl Benjamin because, of, or even like Tommy Robinson's, because the it's the sum, the sum of their output is what what matters. And if the sum of what you're putting out is 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 geared towards like one, I don't know, one person in particular. Um, then that is that is something that somebody's going to want to look at at YouTube. Like, are we can we sell ads uh, to this guy? Because look, generally, generally what what this person's doing is is criticizing the same people video after video, and we know that this is what they do. They make the same videos over and over again. Uh, Brie Larson's the famous one, isn't it? Where it's just like, and they boast about it. They go on Friday Night Tights and they boast about it and laugh about the fact, like, yeah, I made 20 videos on her and I've, you know, thousands of dollars I made on that. They laugh about the exploit that they found. Um, but you probably couldn't pin them down on any one particular video. But if you look at the sum of what they do, which is, I don't know if something, this is something that YouTube do then you, you might have a case. Let's have a look at the facts. In 2018, Geeks and Gamers uh, encouraged harassment against Vietnamese American actor. Look how they're flagging their skin color and where they're from. Like, it's, it's pathetic. It really is. Kelly Marie Tran, leading up to Tran's departure from Instagram due to prolonged harassment. See, for me, I've, my argument about that is prove it. Oh, they've got, they've got, they've got, citations um prolonged harassment i mean how, how how long does the harassment have to be before you call it prolonged more than one message the thing is that uh, these guys um uh these youtube channels have huge followings and if i if i make a video for example and i've 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 found this that if i make anything critical of a youtuber all their fans will obviously just come and slag me off and downvote my video and 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 it, and it ends up being pointless making the video because you you've just wasted your time and i'm not an activist i'm here for a reason i'm you know i have my own frust internal frustrations and i'm putting them out on youtube um and that's what drives me to do them. I'm not always picking topics just because they're trendy. I have to, I have to find a topic that makes me want to, you know, gets me something I care about. And this is interesting to me because uh, this is about uh, YouTube channels using the fan bases to pile on to actors in Hollywood. And they've definitely, so I've definitely seen celebrations from the Nerdrotics crowd uh, about the fact that they they believe that they've made. Uh, Hollywood change direction sometimes, like the acolyte uh, being cancelled. They would definitely feel that that's something to do with them, although it possibly isn't because most people might not even know who Renard Rotic is. You know, I do. Um, Geeks and gamers, gamers championed RK Outpost. Yeah, Geeks and Gamers kind of like got. YouTubers and kind of threw their arms around them and said, and basically thrust all their followers onto them 
and uh, so they could go out and acquire new followers and then when they acquired like RK Outcoast gets new followers to go oh come and join Geeks and Gamers that's how Geeks and Gamers grew it's an interesting model uh, it basically promoted new sh- new YouTube channels um, often on Friday Night Tights you'd have Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers you said, "Come on, guys, let's get a th- let's get a- get them over a thousand. Because obviously, once you're over a thousand subscribers on your YouTube channel, you can then monetize yourself." Uh, it says here, "Geeks and Gamers and Arcade Outpost frequently co-hosted live stream Friday Night Tights on the Drotics YouTube channel, uh, where the three channels have made a profitable business re- reusing prolonged in- insults against marginalized actors featured in Star Wars." Aman, Amandala, Amandala is the current target of this YouTube-based operation. Together, Geeks and Gamers, RK Outpost, and Nedrotic have led the charge against Amandala, even though the release of the Acolyte, producing nearly 40 videos relevant to Amandala, the Acolyte, since May. These channels have asserted that Amandala is a vapid, is vapid and narcissistic. The adult pretender. Dumb. And a half-black bitch. For defending yourself against racism. These channels have gaslit Amandla by claiming she's playing the victim. This is a... Um, this is some sort of activism going on right here. Uh, claiming she's playing the victim card. None of this seems too serious so far. I mean, the thing is, it's fine to... If you're going to do a critical YouTube channel and you're going to criticise... Uh, TV shows to to have like a personal attack, you know, to personally criticize the individual um, who the actor is kind of um, outside of your sort of jurisdiction of what you say your channel's about. Um, I know that uh, a lot of the actors tend to take to the red carpets and share their personal political opinions when they should be talking about the film uh and when they do that they're they they are pretty much opening themselves up for uh people responding to their personal opinion or to them as somebody who holds those opinions basically responding to them so it is no surprise that um as awful as you might think nerdrotics uh that these three channels are um is no, they, I would think they're pretty much within their right to respond to an actor if that actor is presenting themselves and their opinions to the world rather than keeping that, those opinions to themselves and just talking about the film. Uh, but that's not what happens. We all know what happens. Is it's that people, actors have very little to say about their characterization. They talk about, oh, it's so amazing to have representation of women in food movies or, uh, you know, um, diversity. And they talk about that all the time. Uh, maybe not all the time, but it's, it's and, and I'm very conscious of the fact that maybe I'm just seeing it a lot more because I'm looking for it. Uh, but it's a, an argument. It's not something you can claim just by writing down here this is you know this is a criticism of these three channels and you these quotes that you're finding vapid saying somebody's vapid and narcissistic is not a prolonged harassment that's just a criticism of of them because maybe that's what they're being um an adult pretender i don't really understand uh, gary chooses to use this term adult pretender because uh gina carano is an adult pretender she's an actor uh, and does she not hold that the acting profession with any regard whatsoever is she going to let her friend insult the industry that she works in because that's what she's doing he's insulting the 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 industry of acting which is um not something that it was bullshit, but it's not something you should do. Um, well, you can do it if you want, but it, it just makes you look a bit like a knobhead. Uh, oh, I've just called him a knobhead. I am, uh, it's a prolonged harassment from me. Uh, calling her dumb, you know, all right, well, he thinks he's, she's dumb, that's fine. A, a half-black bitch, I don't know about that. I know there's, ha- there's a half-black ga- Garrett. Is he called half-black Garrett on the show? So is that a, a pun on that? I don't know. After defending herself against racism... Uh, I, I've not seen racism there at all. These channels have gaslit Amandla, getting all the buzzwords in there, by claiming she is playing the victim card. Is she? Does she feel like a victim? Uh, with Arky Outpost proclaiming, 
you've never been oppressed in your goddamn life, you bitch. Well, I, he's just been obnoxious, isn't he? These YouTubers also use racist dog whistles, including the angry black woman stereotype. Oh, well, that ain't good. Shouldn't do that. Uh, the hate campaign against Amanda has been so profitable that other major YouTubers have joined the attacks on Amanda, including Star Wars Theory. Oh, now he's supposed to be a nice guy. Um, how many more good faith content creators will turn to profit? See, that that must be about, you know, hey, Star Wars Theory, we're mentioning you as well, buddy. So back off. This, you know, Star Wars Theory will now have a choice. Do I, do I distance myself from these guys? Because I'm getting dragged into... This dr unfolding drama. Uh, let's have a look. Action required. Okay. Star Wars fandom refuses to watch another marginalized actor or fan be singled out by prolonged racist harassment from a handful of YouTubers as a result of YouTube's inaction, which has transformed hate into a lucrative career path. It's concerning us all. Uh, to us that targeting marginalized actors on social media platforms has historically resulted in platform bans, whereas the same behavior has made uh, provo pro pro provocateurs millionaires on the YouTube. Uh, this should be highly concerning to advertisers as well. Oh, here we go. Uh, we understand that YouTube has an important role to play in promoting free speech. However, content uploaded by geeks and gamers... Archie Outpost and Rodotic is not opinion or criticism. It's prolonged targeted harassment against women of color. We urge, uh, we urge YouTube to enforce its community guidelines and demonetize these channels immediately and permanently. Thank you. May the force be with you. It's very interesting because they've not actually provided any evidence of this, any of this. We're just taking their word for it that this is how what they're doing. Now, there's some resources here. There's no links to videos, though. Amanda Steinberg is dumb. Star Wars actress gaslights fans with cringe video. YouTube, Nedrotic Daily. Well, they are highlighting the titles. Amanda Steinberg releases cringe song called Star Wars Fans Racist. YouTube Geeks Gamers. Acolyte actor joins the view to slam Star Wars fans. Well, what's wrong with that? Uh, Amanda Steinberg meltdown over the Acolyte cancelled response. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with these. You, YouTube data API limit equals 50 per query. Search them. Kelly Marie Tran and Rose Tico. Hey, well, this is very, very interesting. Um, it's definitely um, a, a concerted effort. I can only presume it's by these, um, what are they called? Rewriting Ripley crowd. Um, they've, have they, they, they have, ha they have, I think, written articles about Negrotic before, I'm not quite sure, but they're always going to be at each other, th th this crowd, uh, and I think that when you make the sort of content they make, which they, you know, it's, um, for me, it's tiresome. I, I got, I got into it a little bit at the beginning, and I've got videos which, like, mimic the style of what they did but i just got very bored of doing the same stuff and i also noticed that they were all making the same video so if gary made a video um geeks and gamers would make a video the same video then ryan cannell make the same video and then um heels versus babyface would make the same video and they're all making the same videos like because you know it's all all part of a culture that they've cultivated and I've definitely seen Gary Nadrotic go to trailers for things and click on the um, the downvote button on a live stream without watching it. Before even watching it, he clicked it the thumbs down. So I thought that was, that was a bit weird. Anyway, I mean, I, it's, I don't know. I, I, what do I think about, I don't uh, believe in getting people cancelled. Um, I don't believe in people breaking rules. Uh, I believe in judging people by the sum of what they do, not necessarily what they say. Uh, although, and also I think that uh, actors need to take responsibility for how they feel and don't make it the responsibility of YouTubers. I don't believe for a minute that these activists are upset by anything that's been said to them by YouTubers. These are strong, powerful women 
um, and they're just pretending to be upset about it. They're saying like, "We're not. I don't actually care that you're assaulting me, but what I'm going to do is uh, get you thrown off, thrown out of here for uh, for doing it, even though it doesn't bother me." That seems to be their position, um, and I don't like terms like "oh, it's, this is hate" or "this is prolonged harassment." Uh, I don't think any of it's intentional. It's just it's just that that they found that they can make money on YouTube by doing it. So uh, that's what they're doing. Well, that's what I think about that. Thanks for, <laughs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye.